Yeah. I there was a freaking that, rock dude. in the motor, in Paul. The other one. Look, it stands on its own. No stand or anything. Hey, yeah. no, set, no center stand, nothing. Nothing. Stock carb on that one. This one we just did 12. This breaks up front on this one. Uh, this one's getting a knobby. Uh, Shinko's. Well, we get the straight bar clamp. Yeah, Don't they're always run. always short. I never run the long. Two inches? About up here. It's more of the street. The street Zuma. And these things rip pretty good. You already got them they, running and they everything, run, right? They run all right. Yeah, this is super JDM. I have my own version of it. Someone's gonna come in the comments, but that dude, that's not how it went. A little bit of uh, history for the viewers, and we're not sure if the history's right, but at least we gave you a history story, right? <laughs> How does that have no valve stem and it still has air? Oh, okay. This it's just is got the, really uh, stiff tire. It's, actually, it's wanna... actually a pump to pump up other tires. Yeah. You kick it. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, kick it. If I kick you and you stand, are you a kickstand? No, I'm a kickstander. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of the banana. I love banana. That would be a good job on the air box. Watch us do the old choke and start. Paul, oh, you're such a weirdo sometimes. What you like the sexy so, way? So what's up? Enough. What's up with the beach? This this is the second beach bike. What's up with it? Is it the second or the first? Well, it's number. Bike, let's just call this number two. Number two. So you got it all started, huh? Yeah. Wow, she's a runner. Yeah, pretty good too. Man, that, what's that tell you about a Yamaha motor that's been buried in the sand? What do you mean? And in the ocean. <laughs> well, I can't say much because it's all new stuff. Yeah, but I mean... Everything's new, except the crank. That's pretty good. The crank? What? Still a stock crank? Yeah. I, if I were there was a freaking that, rock really? in the motor, in Paul. The other one. Um, I thought the rock was in this one. I don't know. Look, it stands on its own. No stand or anything. Hey, no, set, no center stand, nothing. Nothing. Just flat tires. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Wait. Yeah. So get it all tight. And then this one, this bike's been here forever. And it finally runs. Not very well yet. So how's it been going, John? Uh, it's going good. How's uh, shipping and receiving and you know being it's, it's, Dave Grohl? It's pretty darn good. Yeah, we uh, we haven't had any mistakes for a while. That's been good. That's good. Uh, boxes are going out quickly and efficiently. Nice. It looks yeah. like it's very organized compared to when it was just Paul doing this. It is. We're like a finely oiled machine that's been running for a little while and it's a little worn, but still working good. So it's like a two-stroke. Yeah. Not yeah. a four-stroke. <laughs> so whose bikes are these? Jeremy's. 
Jeremy, okay. Hi, Jeremy, if you're watching. Give me a breakdown, just kind we of these everything. Rust rusty old Dumas here, we did a uh, mild engine built on them. Mm -hmm. Just Molossi Sport and like DC and ER. Stock carbs, stock carb on that one. This one we just did 12. Okay. Delorto. Uh, and now we're doing the 12 inch wheels with disc brakes up front on this one. Uh, this one's getting a knobby uh, Shinkos. And this is the 89 single seat. We also got the side stand over here, which is new, because uh, this center stand's all seized up. We're gonna have to cut that one off. You're gonna have to cut that off. Uh huh. Uh, we got knobby tire in the back too. Pretty sweet shock you uh -huh. out there. Yeah, he bought he bought two shocks. Uh huh. Uh, I might try to see if we can. John's over there yelling. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to put one of the red Hayako ones and the blue Hayako one on that one uh -huh. to match the bikes. So I might ask him before we put the Forza ones on because I gotcha. think those would look a lot nicer and they're better shocks because it may hit the tire on this one. Oh, okay. Because it's a it's, it's a knobby boy. Chunky one. So this bike's going to be white and red and the this other one's bike is blue? And, red, and then I think that one's blue. And this one got a choke cable too because we swapped the carb. It had the weird Japanese edition carb okay. with the weird cables. Well, we got the straight bar clamp. Yeah. These are these are the, these are the short, right? These Everybody always short. asks, "Is it short or long?" So yeah, they're always mean. always short. I never run the longs. They're always yeah. too the long. long is how much longer? Uh, it, inch, be about, two inches. About up here. So it's about two inches. And then you taller. have the rise in your bars too. Your cables yeah. won't reach. So you'd need if you get, if you did that, you'd have to run a flat bar. Yep. Yes. Uh, all mostly wired up for the trail tech. We got the speed tack and then temp. Uh -huh. so and then obviously it's not out. all completely wired because no. it's not all here. So yeah, it's all here. don't judge. Well, I mean, we got to zip tie it. First, yeah. zip tie it all up. Oh, and then show them your, your clean installation here. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got this speedometer all routed up nice, painted this so it's not sticking out. And we might heat shrink this too, I think. I don't think it's a huge deal though, either mm -hmm. way. Yeah, it's kind of a dirt bike, so. I mean, well, the sense. thing is. Um, I'd almost I'm leave it like that because if it if he's riding it in the dirt or the sand, it gives it a breakaway point. If it's if it's heat exactly. shrink, it might. Keep well, it from I think heat. Uh, my concern is is if we ever have to disconnect it, mm -hmm. or I think electrical tape won't look very good and mm -hmm. it'll peel off. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to get heat shrink that'll shrink down this small and then this big. It's more of the street. The street zoom up. Uh, literally same exact setup for engine, uh, except power peers up front. And a different carb? Nope, same carb. Oh, d same carb on both of them. Same I thought carb, you said you did that one's one. just brand new. Oh, okay. This one's still original. Yep, pretty much the same thing, just the street tires. Oh. Uh, still working on the speed sensor, so it's not all hooked up. Just waiting for paint. Sweet, and these things rip pretty good. You already got them they, running and they everything, run, right? They run all right. Uh, haven't actually ridden them. Oh, I thought you did. No, he well, he had new no tires. Oh yeah. And that one, that one barely, that one doesn't even roll really. You gotta drag it around on the stand. Yeah, this one, the tires didn't have valve stems. He like took them to some tire shop and then they didn't put valve stems in them. Oh. So, oh, those ones over there. Those ones over there. Gotcha. Yeah, these bikes are a little rough, but I think they'll come out okay. I think this one will. This one looks the best, obviously, of both of them. Uh -huh, of but course. I mean, it's still definitely uh, nice a, and well. We also have, uh, they're both getting vapors, of course, uh, uh -huh. but we got some frame repairs to do on this one. Frame repairs? Uh, -huh. uh oh. Yeah. It's Ooh. just Yikes. broken. It's not so. super structural, but yeah. your floorboard goes on there, your feet go there, so we're just gonna... Weld it. Just weld, weld it up and then uh, weld and cut this off and weld a nut under there. Gotcha. So we can put a bolt in there and bolt all the fairings on. Uh -huh. Are these all tweaked? Uh, yes. Yeah. That that's easy though. Mm -hmm. Just bend them back. Nice. So yeah, it looks like it went down on this side. Yeah, more than likely. Rusted its life away. Yeah, it's um. I would have liked if we had the them all apart at the same time. It would have been nice to powder coat the frame. Yeah. But you gotta take the gas tank out, the oil tank, all these fairings. Oh, we got a customer. My burrito. Maybe. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Your burrito's here, Paul. Great. Uh, we got silver forks because the black ones are in back order. I think it looks good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I actually kind of like the raw. Mm -hmm. 
Sweet. And then is there anything else going? We obviously got the kickstand. And the kickstand's only on this one just because it's center stand, right? Center stand's messed up. Um, and the, it's at 89, so it just bolts on. Gotcha. No no drilling, no modification. There's literally a hole, a threaded hole there. You just bolt it in. Okay. And then that one's not getting one? No. Okay. And then is there anything else besides what's already on it going on? Fairings. Not new ones, just the... Existing beach plastics. We'll see We'll see how they are. We may need to replace a couple pieces. But if we do, the stuff's not going to match. Uh, I think we're going to do a seat cover, and we may do taillights on the two as well. We'll see. Okay. I think taillights would look nice. But for the most part, all you're doing is just wrapping up all the trail tech, getting all the wiring. Do, for today, today I'm in. just doing the trail techs. They're just getting all the sensors in. I got the tacks and tack mm -hmm. wire and the temperature. I'm waiting for bars to come in next week nice. to actually mount up the paper. Is this something we carry? Uh, Doppler. Uh, I don't think they discontinued those. Oh. Yeah, don't make them anymore. So we just had had a few. Uh, we'll we put that on in January. So these bikes have been sitting for a while because we've been waiting for wheels. the wheels. Yes, now we have wheels. So now they're going together. Appreciate the Oh, we got the leg shims too. Oh. These both got new triple trees as well. Yeah, you can't see them, but they're in there. Okay. See, so you run the NCY forks. Yeah. Yep. And then currently, but by the time this video is out, just because we'll wait until it's completely done to put these out, currently we have two one or two triples in stock right one one oh no three two two or three yeah so we have a couple in stock yeah um how hard are they to get if they're out of stock uh eh, it depends usually usually you can get them okay so they're, uh, they're we accessible stopped, we stopped doing them for a while because they came all messed up from shipping it's just like oh we're not going to do these anymore but we're running starting to run low on wheels we also are, yeah, we are. If they're not on the website, they won't be available for another probably nine more months. More than that. We probably won't do them again. We haven't Most, even had them for a month. We've had them for like two weeks. Yeah. And we're almost out. So that's pretty good. Yeah. It's a lot of work, too. Yeah. But at least we know where we can get them now. And so if if they're not in stock, in don't stock. ask when they're going to come in, but email. Don't call. <laughs> yeah, don't call. Don't email call. Paul and be like, hey, I want to get a set of these wheels. And he can put you on a list. And if we get a set... If we get like five or ten people that want them, then that's when we'll make an order for them. Because otherwise, we're, we're not going to. We'll do some sort of pre-order, maybe. Yeah, we could do a pre-order. So, you guys let us know down below in the comments. We got NCY brake lines. We got the banjo bolts with the bleeders. Yep. Yeah. Well, if you got this far in the Absolutely. video, you better subscribe, right, Paul? Yeah, better. Because that means you're entertaining. And by you subscribing, it gives Paul a job. Gives Does me it? a job doesn't really give me a job. No, it gives us all a job. Gives, it definitely keeps Pat uh, around, which oh, we want to So keep. if you don't want to subscribe, if you don't subscribe, then I'm just out of here. No, not, not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, well, it helps all it helps, in all. It helps everyone. Because the more people that are watching, the more uh -huh. parts that we're going to want to Sub make. Subscribe so we can keep Pat around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe so I have a job. <laughs> That's all you guys say. Oh, you see our exhaust? Do you restrict it? Japanese writing? Yeah, this is super JDM. It is. These. This is the only year made in Japan. Oh. Mm, fancy. So what year is the only year made in Japan? 89. 89. Single seat. And then the other ones are made where? France. France? I, I think the MB, 90s maybe. MBK? The 1990 maybe. Uh, Ooh, give us a backstory on a pre-bug that some people may not know. No. Where it came from. What do you mean? MBK? It's just MBK. Just Yamaha purchased them, I guess. Oh, so you don't even I don't know, know, the, I don't know the I don't know the whole... Well, I know I have my own version of it. But oh, let's, a, hear, let's, a, hear, let's hear your version of the story. What what okay. you, what you what happened so, in Paul's so the, mind? The thing is, the thing is, someone's going to come in the comments, but that did, that's not how it went. It's all right. We'll, this, we'll do, we can do another video of, if your story's not correct, we'll do like okay. a separate just video okay. of all right, the so actual there was story. This, the Zuma or the BWS and uh -huh. then MBK made the same thing, I guess, in uh -huh. France or something like that. Pretty much. These are Japanese. Those are French and Italian. Uh -huh. Yamaha bought MBK and they bought Minarelli as well, oh. as far as I know. And then that's how they got. There's probably like some actual like. So you're saying that Yamaha made the prebug and then MBK copied it, and so or, then. Or I'm saying Yamaha made MBK or made the Zuma and then uh -huh. MBK started making them for Yamaha, maybe something okay. like that. I don't know, because 
I, th I don't think this this is actually a Minarelli made in Italy. I mean, I'm probably wrong on that, but this one says Yamaha. Uh -huh. I don't think that one does. So this is a 99, and it doesn't have yeah, the see, Japanese writing here. See, so this this one says Minarelli. The other one says Yamaha, 3AA. Did you know that there's a motor in a car that says Yamaha? Do you know what motor that is? Corolla. Oh, so then there's more than uh, one. Corolla head says Yamaha on it. Okay, then there's also another one oh. that's in a Toyota. Oh. So it's the 1JZ. Yeah. Okay. So the 1JZ was made by uh, Yamaha. Uh -huh. And then Toyota took it. And they made the 2JZ. And they modified it, made it a little bit better, and made the 2JZ. A little bit of uh, history for the viewers, and we're not sure if the history's right, but at least we gave you a history story, right? <laughs> yeah. History's all made up on changing stories. Sure. Well, I mean, there's no history that's like 100% accurate, is there? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm sure there's. The, like, because it's just word of mouth going through a bunch of like filters almost. Oh, true, true. So like, so like, like I might the... tell, I might tell you a story, uh -huh. and then you might tell that story to someone else. But I'll make a but little it, modification. There's like a slight, slight difference in just how you interpreted it from me. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then over time, over 40, 30 years from when the Zuma was made, there have been a lot of. Mm -hmm. That story has been. It's like a telephone game, like a brand was exactly. talking about a while ago. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, that thing's pretty much ready to roll and get yeah, out of here. Jetted, I think. Ooh, I we guess that uh, should we discuss the elephant in the room that's not in the room anymore? What do you mean? This has always been like this. <laughs> what are you doing, Paul? Fixing stuff. Fixing pre bug. Fixing stuff. That John's GY6 whisper over here. Whispering sweet nothings to this GY6. Pretty close, right? It's done. Oh. Warm. Got a ripper. Big drops too. Check it out. Oh yeah. We had two clean bikes. We had my maroon free bug and the raffle bike and we offered them to him for way less money than it would cost to repair both these bikes he chose to fix these up russ is so bad i had to weld the the frame was it this one it didn't say that i didn't write that actually he's gonna be here he'd probably give you a, the story on these bikes hey um jeremy i've got two zuma free bugs <laughs>